I got some in my I eye. just really like want to make like more crispy soup. Namaste, welcome to my channel. Welcome to Thinking Asia channel where we talk and react things related to India. Thank you so much for passing by one more day. You know, mi casa es tu casa, guys. And today we have the video Indian mega food recording breaking dosa. Record breaking dosa. 250 egg omelette and more in Mumbai. So this looks like a lot of food, I think so I will get hungry. But anyway, let's watch it together and then we'll talk about it. Don't forget guys to follow me here on my social media. Cook down the onion and tomato and he's gonna kind of push them out and then he's gonna crack just tons and tons of eggs in here. I mean, if you're gonna cook for a lot of people at once, this is the way to do That's it. I love it. Mumbai. Today on the Best Ever Food Review Show, we are going on another fun food adventure. This time we are in Mumbai, India. Definitely I'm going to Mumbai because I know a lot of you will be. Are you planning to come to Mumbai? Yes, I'm planning to go to Mumbai. Yes, soon, hopefully. This city is home to some of the most gigantic Indian food I have ever seen. Today we are hunting down some food on a scale That's like you have never food. seen before. Let's do it. Today we're doing it big in Mumbai, India. Starting off with the world's biggest dosa. It's a little unwieldy. Then India's Whoa. most gigantic non-veg tali platter, featuring over 45 items. Oh, jeepers. Wow. And finally, we'll witness the creation of an omelet using 250 eggs. We are here in Mumbai, no. India impossible. looking for the biggest, baddest food, which has brought us now to Dakshi Nayan, where they're making the world famous, world record breaking dosa. Let, let's go eat it. Yeah. We're headed into the kitchen to see how this thing is made. Let's check it out. Right this way. Oh, it is busy in here. Right now I'm in the kitchen with the chef, Sarvan. Nice to meet you. Thank you so much. Today he's making this giant dosa here known as the family dosa, but today it's gonna be made for a family of one right here, this guy. Let's do this. Okay, that's how the dosa has to look. Good to know, because I, was, I went to that too. This is freaking massive. That's like a meter long. Okay, okay. I, I just realized some of you might not even know what a dosa is, so we're gonna jump to a different location and I'm gonna show you. Okay. We are at this street side dosa stand where they're making just a huge, crazy variety of dosa, one of which I'm about to get. A dosa is like a kind of crepe, but made with finely ground rice and lentil flour batter. It can okay. be served plain like the giant dosa we're about to try, or with an endless variety of topping combinations. Okay. Do you want shredded beetroot? Go ahead. How about potato? I want to try with potato. Too. Or yeah, how about potato. American chop suey dosa? Let's see what that is. So right away, he's gonna come with the batter. Then some cabbage, spring onion, onion. Oh, this thing is loaded up, but so far, so good. And then the nudes. We're dropping some noodles, tomato sauce, Szechuan sauce, red chili powder, taro masala, salt, tomato chutney, and a heaping scoop of butter. And that's what I like to see. Yes. A lot of butter. Butter is always the secret. everything I've seen here, it's amazing. All this random stuff that hopefully together is gonna taste amazing. Let's ask these guys over there. But yeah, yeah, all Pariya. right. It's Pariya. bubbling up. You can see the little bubbles in I'm slow motion right now. now. It's this. making you hungry. You're salivating. You're clicking the like button. You're subscribing. This is the most important part here. Yeah. A flip and a chop. And he's going to toss that right okay, here. I have to do that. And from yes. there, a couple sauces. Yeah, we'll be able to do those. A and coconut I bought chutney the and some so fine. I will And try just it. like that. Thank you, sir. I'm cutting it up with a spoon. Getting a nice big scoop. Gonna put it in our coconut chutney here. One of my favorite chutneys of all the chutneys. I think that would be super Try tasty. Like the coconut chutney. Mm. Oh, buddy, ah. Yeah, buddy, buddy, ah. Very nice. But that is a storm of heartburn. I could actually top this with some Pepto Bismol, and then it would be a perfect balance. The flavors are outstanding. Tomatoey, peppery, and that dosa is like nice and kind of soft, bready, a little bready, a little crunchy on the outside. I want to try that. Mm. So now that we know what a dosa is, we're gonna go back and see the giant dosa. 
And now we're back. So that's what a dosa is, and this is a huge version of that I love right that. here. He's gonna be curling this. Now he's just slathering it with a bunch of butter. That's my favorite ingredient. Ooh, okay, nice. so now he's, okay. he's rolling it up. Oh, what okay. a move. This thing is like a meter long. He's just rolled up the whole I thing. I would try okay, it's This is one. the really sensitive part. It requires two plates. I'm following that guy. Imagine if he break it. The moment has arrived here. Finally, this gigantic dosa. This is just the plain dosa, but we've had some nice different assorted dipping sauces here. Tomato chutney, a coconut chutney, onion chutney, and then here, this is kind of a stew. Sambar, or maybe I could dip the whole thing. And this is probably the most practical way. You gotta put it in a little bit of sauce. Is this the right way to eat it? <laughs> I'm sure it's not the right way to eat it. Mmm. That is terrific. I got some in my I just eye. really like want a giant to make But more crispy, super buttery. Oh, he was giving some butter love to this thing. I just wish it's a little unwieldy. It's kind of hard to hold. Perfect. That's so good. Yeah, like that. Mm. It's so flaky and crispy and buttery. And it just turns into nothing. You have to be careful with the chutney. Once in a while, you'll get one that's just like pure garlic and it'll, it'll choke you out. Uh, I love garlic anyway. It's very nice. Light, refreshing, creamy, coconutty. This one I could eat with a spoon. It's so delicious. It looks so, uh, it tastes. I'm gonna it, keep working on uh, this, but let's go check out some more giant like food, huh? Oh my God, I want it now. Next up, the biggest tali you will find in Mumbai. Our mission continues looking for the hugest food here in Mumbai, India, which brings us now to Mini Punjab's Lakeside Restaurant, where they are making a gigantic thali. Thali literally means platter. But when you order the thali, here you get a gigantic assembly of different cups, bowls, plates of all kinds of different foods all together. Let's go inside and learn more about it. This place has food bloggers knocking down their doors, but I was lucky enough to get a behind the scenes look with the man who created this magnificent beast. Right now we are in the kitchen with Nishan, the creator of the giant thali, which is actually called the the Dara Singh Thali for you guys. Can you talk to me about this awesome platter? Definitely. Our giant Dara Singh Thali is basically a 26 to 28 inch Thali. Mm. Okay. okay. Which comes with more than 40 items, 45 to be precise. We've covered different cities, okay, from the northern region, mm -hmm. which is like Amritsar, Delhi, Rajasthan. And you get the favorite dishes from those cities. Our mm. head chef here is preparing the Murg Muslim rice. It's basically steam rice with a particular gravy which is called as Murg Muslim. So he's just added the chicken pieces as you see along with the spices. So this basically comes on a plate of steam tasty. rice along with the Murg Muslim as a gravy with chicken pieces served on top. This, this whole portion will be on the platter? Yes, yes. Like yes. this by itself already looks like it could be a whole meal. Yeah. Definitely. If Definitely. you can finish the entire platter, the thali, the non-wish Dara Singh thali, it's free. If I can eat the whole thing, yes. it's going to be free. Exceptionally, yes. How, but how many normal people can this feed? Around four people. Four. Can I take down the whole okay, platter? Okay, the other three people come to find with out. me. Can we try this one now? Definitely, definitely. This is made fresh before our eyes. I cannot wait. So we're going to try some right now, right here in the kitchen. Kitchen. A lot of pressure. There's about 20 people watching me right now. <laughs> Are you those guys over there? <laughs> hey, let's try it out. Oh, super that good. That is ridiculous. I mean, just taste the skill. Oh my gosh, I'm really am getting super hungry. Like the number of spices, spices in here correct. that work so well together just to create like a singular flavor. So amazing. And you can see right here, India just has such beautiful, oh, all this vibrant the spice spices, is very cool, flavors, though, yeah. aromas everywhere you go. And especially right now in this kitchen. From here, we're going to see them assemble this giant thali. I want to try that. Everything. The assembly has begun, but you think Definitely. when it's done, you think I'll be able to take down the whole thing. I feel yes. Let's hope for the best. Okay. And see how he looks like a very nice there. guy. All right, let's see. At first glance, and with an empty stomach, taking down this platter in 20 minutes seems pretty doable. I mean, it's just some different breads, a bunch of curries, and they're all served in these tiny I don't like green things. And there's the I'm chicken, a big fan of green rice, things. and this. And this, I'm not feeling so sure anymore. They are right now putting the final touches on the dali downstairs in the kitchen. We are waiting for its entrance. Oh my God, <laughs> it's right here. It requires- Oh my people. God. Do you guys need a hand? You got it? Oh, sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me, let me get out of your way. Oh, jeepers. 
Look at this. Thank you. Oh Thank my you. God, that looks Guys, super like... Good work. The main Dad. reason I came here was just to be able to sample a ton of different stuff, but it turns out this is also a food challenge. It's 1,600 rupees, so it's coming in just under $25. That seems like a pretty good value to me. If you can eat the whole thing, it's free. The only catch is you have to do it in under 20 minutes. Oh. E easy. The rice here. The rice is. It would the take main me issue. like and here. There's like twenty hours. Pot full of rice. That's not for decoration. We need to eat that. A couple other standout items here. We have a lamb curry yogurt. I love lamb. I love curry. I love lamb yogurt. Curry. I've never mm. had all those things together, but it's about okay. dang time. So we're gonna see how much damage I can do in twenty minutes, starting right now. So here we have a mutton kebab, no, and if I you're like me, to... I didn't even know what mutton was until I came here. And so lamb meat is called lamb, and an adult. Lamb is called a sheep, and its meat is called mutton, and it's gonna go in my mouth. I think it's too strong a flavor. I'm delicious. not a big fan it's of mutton. It's been a minute mutton. 30 I already, lamb. I haven't done anything. So here we have a mint chutney with coriander like too. One. We're gonna put our mutton in there. Mm. What oh, about if you don't wow. like one? It's powerful, fresh, salty, and then this is, um, it's just like drinking yogurt. Oh my God. How could anybody rush this meal? I can't. I just want to enjoy it. Just everybody. enjoy it. I do want to try it. My favorite kind of yogurt here, of course, it is the lamb curry yogurt. Let's try that out. Okay. Oh, that's tremendous. It's like a little lamb meatball in there. Am I almost done? Oh, here we have some fried fish. It's looking a little Ooh, spicy. Oh, that looks nice. Outside, I want fish out. now. Mm, Got to wash it down with some yogurt. Yogurt. Delicious bread here. They have every kind of curry here except for Steph Curry. Is this what is this one? Is this a hot dog curry? Just kidding. If I made curries, I'd make a, a hot dog curry. <laughs> mm. Five minutes have gone by. Oh, we're getting there. We're really. We're almost. It done. Looks like the same. What is that? Somebody made a drink out of cucumber. <laughs> okay, some chicken. That huge cast iron pot. He wasn't only cooking the bread in there, but he put also Ooh. inside the chicken. We're gonna put some of the chicken in this chutney now. Beautiful, wow. but powerful. I need to chase it. Cut it with some rice. Okay, this is a soup, but it's in a cup, so you can drink it. That's the best soup drink I've ever had. Here they have white butter. I just want to try the butter. It's so creamy. It's almost like cheese-flavored butter. And we're gonna That's put some nice. green curry on there. Slap it all together. Just get it all nice and sloppy like on green, there. We're gonna roll it up like a little colors. Indian burrito. Mm. Indian burrito, burrito Mexican. It's really tasty. Butter chicken, onion, green chutney. We gotta combine it all together. Oh, God. 11. Almost done. Chicken biryani. Here we go. Oh, my God. Amazing. It's so fragrant. We got we to gotta pick up speed. Oh, and here, they have pickled chicken. Guys, they pickle the chicken. This is bread stuffed with potato. Okay, let's try this. Pickled chicken. That looks chicken. like a lot of food. I think wow, it's for six delicious. people. You got to drink some yogurt with it, though. How Look yogurt? This, this That's bread. the weird part for it's me. stuffed with potato. This is already like half a kilogram itself. Oh, there's so much I haven't even tried yet. Put it with the bread. What is this? I oh, think man, I can I'm just full. eat one quarter of 1730. Day. It's almost over. Hey, thank God they have a Take time limit because I want to die already. So here we have kichidi, a mix of lentil, rice, and vegetables. This and a little rice is already a meal. Mm. Ooh, that's like savory. That's like comfort food. This comfort food is making me feel uncomfortable. I'm very full. We have one minute remaining. We're still in the game. Guys, look, I can do this. Still in the There's game, of food. not. I'm going to try some of, with the rice here. Mm-hmm. Hey, that's very filling too. I've tried almost everything now. I have some more fish. Here's bread. A little bit of chutney. That's it. I can't do it. 20 minutes has gone by. Now listen, I thought this was maybe possible when I just saw these little bowls of stuff. Oh, what is this? Is this more food? Yes. I can't. It's impossible for me to eat that much. I no. want to say thanks, but I also want to die right now. Is this part of the challenge? Yes. They brought in extra six dishes. I like that they thought I would even get close to finishing this. Well, listen, um, we gave it our best try. And so always remember, chase your dreams. Next time you are in Mumbai, why don't you come to Mini Punjab Lakeside to try this Wait, little piece for yourself. It's I want to eat rupees. it. It's under 25 bucks. So even if you fail, you still have enough food to bring home and eat for the rest of the week. That's not bad. The end. That was it's pretty dangerous, but uh, let's do it anyways. For today's last stop, we're hunting down an Indian mega omelet. We came to our final location, and here they're making a gigantic, basically like an Indian scrambled eggs. Okay, we've got uh, eggs, tomato, onion, 
And it's like, well, what's so special about this? Oh, I don't know, that there's gonna be over 250 eggs That's... cooked at one time on the skillet right here behind me. The prep is underway. They're cutting onions, they're cutting tomatoes. We're gonna go inside and see exactly how it's done. I love how the board is so small, like just everything keeps falling. My man right here, cutting onions. No goggles, no protective anything, and no tears. This is a, a real man. How do you do it, sir? How do you do it with no tears? Can you ask like... him? <laughs> He's just like, mm -mm -mm. no tears, not since 1984. He's saying it's the destiny. We asked him, why is he not crying? He said it's destiny. I like this destiny. guy. Tons of onions, like baskets of onions are going to be cooked and put into the eggs. Let's see what else is going on here. He's a pro. So here we have the tomato cutting. In this room, in the kitchen, they have two giant skillets. And it's somewhere between like a wok and a flat top. It's called a tawa. And there's two of them here. As you can see, this is no small cooking operation. Like, they go big here. So this is like 20 kilograms, like almost 40 pounds of onion and around 10 pounds of tomato. That's what I'm told. And this whole thing is going to cook down. They've just put in all these spices, chili powder. He continues to just mix it all together. There's some parts of the onion that hasn't even touched the grill. Thank you for having us here. Nice to meet you. Oh, this is the owner of the shop. What is this one called? Andabuji. An Andabuji. Andabuji. Eggbuji. He's cooked down the onion and tomato, and then he's going to crack just tons and tons of eggs in here. That is some mad that egg cracking skills. One-handed. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Can you get it? Can you get it? Ah, yeah. that egg was tricky. I know. The first, like, maybe 30% of the eggs are in here, and he has started scrambling them together with some of the onions and tomatoes. So there's still that like, ring on the outside, keeping everything that in. He's created small. this natural bowl, and I believe he's going to put in even more eggs now. Yeah, round two. Can I crack one egg? Can I, I just want to say that I helped, that's all. I basically made it myself. Ta-da! Oh, again? I got to try one hand. Come on, get out of there. Bam! Yes! Look at this, it looks ridiculous. Wow. Time to destroy the beauty. After the first step is done, he starts mashing smaller portions of eggs. He then adds more butter, spring onion, and spices. You can just smell the fumes coming off here. It's singeing thy nostrils. Then more mashing with fresh cilantro. Finally, it's a moment I've been waiting for. Oh, thank you, sir. But the eggs aren't complete without some butter. Oh, bun. nice. We were just in that kitchen for about 30 minutes during that whole preparation. Actually, my eyes are, are still watering a little bit from all the spices and onion, but it was all worth it because we have this complex, uh, yet simple, that place for me, wonderfully executed scrambled full. eggs I've ever like, seen. Completely. I'm going to try I, I don't it with think just the eggs first. Just so you have an idea how much I can eat. Oh, that is, that makes me happy in my mouth. Super salty and spicy. These are some of the spiciest scrambled eggs I have ever had. He fried and buttered this bread for me. That's Ooh. really how you're supposed to eat this. You just scoop up oh some of these God. pieces of egg. I'm doing that. that for you can breakfast see the tomorrow. chilies in there from the oil, the butter, all of it coming together. Let's try it out. That is amazing. That's, you know, it's kind of a simple thing. You know, it's simple whole foods, it's eggs, it's scrambled eggs and bread, but the seasoning and the, and the care, love, and skill that went into it, it makes it super special. Um, crazy delicious. All I can say is, but yeah. Oh, so good, it's so good, thank so you. Good. Thank you so much for watching oh this video. This video watering. was made possible by One Trip Vietnam. One Trip is a company putting on amazing tours in Saigon, Da Nang, and Hoi An. I'm proud to say One Trip is the highest rated tour company in Vietnam, and I especially love their food tour. You cannot go wrong. For more information on One Trip, check out the links in the description down below. I will see you next time. A peace. Oh my God, I just want to eat everything from there i really really everything was looking so tasty and so delicious and just you know guys that i'm a big foodie you know like i really enjoy food but the only problem that i cannot eat too much even the plate of egg that he was having at the end for me that would be a lot of food like i would be if i am lucky i can finish it just with half of the bread and i would be like extremely full maybe like i can manage with half of it so just you have an idea about like how much I eat, but that's good. The good part is like if somebody take me for dinner, like like I'm, I'm 
Like I can't even share a plate, you know, because I just eat very little. You know, because it's just, I get full super, super fast, but I love food. I really, really enjoy it. And this video is just, like any video that I'm doing here in this channel, just makes me want to go to India, Mali, you know, just make me want to say, oh, oh God, I just, please, everything just get okay. Everything just get fine and just the world goes back to normal. And we're gonna start traveling again. In that moment, in the moment that India opened the borders, I will be just changing my flight to that time and I'm just flying to India, you know? I have my plane ticket just there waiting for me just to say, yes, confirm this date, vamos, let's go. But until then, I just have to keep waiting, watching these kind of videos that just make me want to go to India badly and just uh, hope for the best i guess anyway guys thank you so much for watching i am like this food makes me super hungry made me crave indian food and hopefully next week i can eat and i can make some videos for you guys thank you so much see you tomorrow with another video have an amazing day